Hey everyone, with Dapper Day being about two weeks away, I wanted to make this video to share what I have worn for the past Dapper Day events. So if you need a little help as far as what to wear for Dapper Day, um, I thought this video would be helpful. So I'm going to get started with the first outfit. So this is the first outfit that I have to show you, and it is a black skirt. I had this sweater that I picked up at Seymour. I absolutely love this sweater because of the detailing going down the middle of the arm. I, I do know that they have redone the sweater. They have it in a darker gray and they have it in red and blue. And if you can add a petticoat underneath this skirt to make it more poofy. And if you don't, you can leave it like this. For shoes, I just have simple black slacks on with as far as shoes go with what you're most comfortable in wearing let's get moving on to the next outfit so i am here with the next dress and this is a dress i actually borrowed from my friend a while back and i really should give it back it is a absolutely gorgeous dress i know the dress is from torrid and i love this little peplum right here which helps to hide this right here which i'm all for um and this is a modern dress that has vintage little touches, or that has vintage inspired touches. This little pet plume right here was really popular during the 1940s, so it's like a little nod to the decade of the 40s, and I absolutely love the dress. You can pair it with a cardigan, or you can also pair it without. But I absolutely love this cardigan. It's purple, my favorite color, and I just like to pair it with the cardigan. I'm not a big fan of my arms, but I will show you the dress. And the sleeves are absolutely adorable. So this is something that I mentioned in my first Dapper Day tip video. I will leave a link for that down below in the description box. You can also take a modern dress, and this has a little bit of vintage inspired touches, like I said, and you can do a modern day dress with vintage inspired hair and jewelry and accessories, and you can, this is another outfit that you can wear to cover it. So, let's get moving on to the next outfit. Hey everyone, so this is the next dress that I wanted to show you. This is my absolute favorite dress that I have purchased so far for Dapper Day. And I just love the poppies. And the size of this skirt is just, oh, it's just so pretty. Look at that. I absolutely love the way it looks. Um, this is a Hell Bunny dress. And I purchased it off of HotTopic.com. And this is another favorite dress. Like I said earlier, with the black skirt, you can also pair this with a petticoat. It will give it that fuller effect. You would probably need one, maybe two, just to say if you want it really, really poofy, really big, then you would go with two. If you don't want it as poofy, um, you would go with just one. And you can also wear it without the petticoat. And it looks just as great as it does with the petticoat. But I, I'm just a sucker for how these dresses look with the petticoat underneath. It gives us that little flare out. Although it is quite an adjustment, like I said in the first Dapper Day Tips video. It is an adjustment getting used to walking in a dress and in a dress with a petticoat. You're not able to see your feet as much as you can without the petticoat. So also practice wearing the dress prior and wearing your dress and wearing your shoes prior. You want to make sure that you break in your shoes. So let's get moving on to the next outfit. Is the next outfit. This is a skirt from Pin Up Girl Clothing. It is also my first Pin Up Girl Clothing clothing? Article clothing. This is the Jenny style skirt. And it is from the Mary Blair collection. And this is another example of what you can wear to Dapper Day. And with this skirt, you do not need the petticoat. The Jenny skirt was made to be worn without the petticoat. Of course, it is up to you. You can wear it with or without the petticoat. But let's get moving on to the last dress. 
So, I lied. There was two more dresses that I'm going to be showing you. This is the next one, of course. And this dress I wore for my first Dapper Day event ever, which was the Fall 2013 um, event, if I'm not mistaken. So, I put together my outfit as well as the outfit for my husband in a week. I saw this in a store just hanging on the rack. And I thought, what if I pair this with the petticoat? It will give me that um, swing skirt effect, and it actually does. So I'm going to be putting the petticoat on so you can see the difference. You can take a dress that is just like this. I think the style is called a skater dress, if I'm not mistaken. And it is just a really simple dress. It hangs really, really low. It's not a heavy material, but it was able to... The petticoat was able to make a difference with this type of material. So let me go put on the petticoat and I'll be right back. So here is the dress with the petticoat on. And it gives it a little bit more fluff to <laughs> the dress. That petticoat definitely makes a difference in a lot of dresses. It takes it from from just hanging, especially something like this. It just hung there. Not that it didn't look good without the petticoat. But just the petticoat definitely gave it that swing dress effect that it really isn't. So I was able to take the dress and work it to what I needed it, which is something that I absolutely love to do, to tweak something here and there to suit the either look or the fit that I want. And this can also be paired with the white belt that I just had on earlier. And this is how it looks. Back up a little bit more. You can see the difference. It definitely has that flare out look. It's not a lot, but it's just enough to give the illusion that it is a swim dress when it's really not. So let's get moving on to what I promise is the last outfit in this video. And this is the last dress that I wanted to show you guys. And after the Hell Bunny dress with a poppy print, this is my next favorite dress. Um, I saw it on the Unique Vintage site, and they had a sale for $25 dresses, and this dress was $25. One thing to this day I still can't get over, I got this gorgeous dress for $25, so I'm, I absolutely love such a good deal. So, this dress is a really, really heavier material. It doesn't need a petticoat, but like I said previously, you can, of course, wear a petticoat underneath. But for something that's this heavy, that hangs this heavy, you would need two petticoats at the most. Um, especially if you really want that big um, poop effect that I said earlier. Pretty sure that's not the actual term, but I really, really hope that you know what I mean. I mean, you get that more fullness effect. That's the word I was looking for. You get the fullness, more fullness, if you want the more fullness. So I wore it with the petticoat if I'm not mistaken but that does not do a single thing this material is just really really too heavy and it was also really really long so I asked my mom to hem it up a little bit so she cut it she cut it back a little bit this is how it looks when it's opened up that's world So that is it for all of the Dapper Day dresses that I've worn. Now, I wasn't able to find one of the dresses that I have worn to, da to Dapper Day. And the other dress I have I taken apart and used it as a pattern for a skirt to make more skirts. So I have just more swing skirts in my wardrobe. And the other dress, I have no idea where it is. I really do hope I find it. That is... A dress that I got at the Queen of Hearts um, sample sale. I got it for $40 and it retails for $120 currently. It is still on the site. I will leave a link if you are curious as to what the dress looks like. I will leave a link down below in the description box for that dress. I will also leave a link down below in the description of my Dapper Day tips video. If you are planning on attending Dapper Day sometime in the future. Since I wasn't able to find, since I wasn't able to use two of the dresses, I went through my wardrobe and see what else that I would 
what else I would wear to Dapper Day myself. So I hope I gave you guys, I hope I gave you some examples of what you can wear to Dapper Day. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful in some way. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.